Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you five Lightroom tips that will help improve your workflow and editing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like this video. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first tip I have for you will help you straighten your photos very, very easily. A lot of times it's hard to eyeball it and straighten it on the horizon line perfectly. Sometimes you do it right, sometimes you do it wrong. I found a way to always do it right. So if you go onto the crop uh, feature right here and you press on the straighten tool and you find the horizon line. So this could be a wall, it can be the actual horizon line or you can just eyeball it. You just wanna drag it over the horizon line right here. And it'll automatically straighten it for you. So there you see it's straight. So if it's a little bit more messed up, let's just say it's like, like this it still works. It works every single time as long as you get the angle right. So there you go. The next tip I have for you is going to help you correct your white balance. Sometimes if you shoot auto white balance, it doesn't turn out well. So in this case, I made the temperature um, cooler on purpose so I can show you how this works. You want to determine where in this photo is white essentially. So I'm going to just say his shoe. I won't select the sky just because it's a little bit blown out. So let's just select right here. It's going to correct all the other colors and now it's a good neutral white balance. So I just taught you how to correct white balance. So I'm going to show you how to correct exposure. So if you press G on your keyboard, it's going to pop up like this. So um, depending on your photo, it might show red and blue. It might just show blue. It might just show red. Basically, this happens when there's absolute blacks and absolute whites. So there's clipping. So in this case, the sky is too blown out. So there's just true white colors. And her uh, dress right here is just purely black. And we don't want that because it's not realistic. So to fix this under or over exposure, we just want to adjust it accordingly. So blue means it's too dark. So we want to adjust the blacks right here. And the red means it's blown out. The highlights are too bright. So we can just lower the highlights right here. So we can do this on a photo like this. So if I press J to hide it, you can see it's pretty bright. Um, so we can lower the highlights and now you can actually see the clouds before you couldn't. The white area is actually the clouds, which is funny enough. This will just help you with basic edits, just like literally the basic panel right here. You can still change the colors however you want. I think it's just a baseline of fundamentally how a photo should be exposed. You don't have to follow it if you don't want to. The next tip is going to save you the most time. I use this all the time, every time in Lightroom. So let's just say I apply a preset. So I have this preset and maybe a particular crop as well. So let's say it's four by five for like Instagram. If I want to apply the same edit to all my photos or just 10 photos or 20 photos, I just want to press copy right here. Copy these settings. Sometimes I would turn off crop depends if you want the same crop or not. If you just want to crop for Instagram or something, I would do that. But if you are changing the angle, it might mess it up a little bit. So basically, if you press control A, it selects all of them and you just want to press sync. If you want to just select um, individual ones, you can hold control and click on those. If you want to select bulk, you just want to hold shift and click on the last one you want to select and everything in between is selected. So let's just say we do that. We press sync. Uh, we sync everything. And then there you go. You can also just press copy and then press paste. If you just want to do one individual photo. Just uh, selecting all of them makes it a little bit faster. And the final tip is something I use a lot and it's before and after. You just want to press backslash. That's the shortcut. And you can see the before and after. There is another way to do this. You can just press on this right here. But the problem with this is you actually have to click and it changes your layout. I think pressing backslash saves a lot of time. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys want a part two, comment below and get this video to 500 likes. I'm going to start making more Lightroom tutorials, so make sure you subscribe to stay tuned. And yeah, that's about it. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.